Um, one of the figures I've looked at is, is, is Robert Mal Maltus, the famous demographer who is you know, sometimes blamed in a lazy kind of way for the famine because Maltus argued that the population would continue to increase and that any efforts to alleviate this through charity or welfare were misplaced and unreasonable because all they would be doing is encouraging forms of behaviour that would lead to people becoming even more poor. Maltus wrote some incredibly sympathetic articles about Ireland that, that distort that simplistic picture of his work. Uh, he did some reviews of, of, of work written about Irish demography and he looked into the chronic unfairness of it and he argued that the reason the Irish poor were not improving themselves, to use that great term from the 19th century, was because of the penal laws and that to expect any improvement of the Irish without addressing the inequalities they faced first would be a gross mistake. So he argued that until Catholic emancipation happened or something like it, and this is him writing in 1808 and 1809, uh, that, that there could be no hope for, for, for basically improving the condition of the Irish and that fairness mattered as much as anything else. So he wasn't just somebody who, who, who was a free marketeer or who believed in a sort of a hyper-liberal ideal of individual responsibility. He also understood and argued, especially in the case of Ireland, that this all played out in a society. And when society was profoundly unfair, then the possibility for improvement wasn't there.